Well, the 2002 Act changed uh, the practice fundamentally. Prior to then, uh, foxhounds could find and, and, and pursue a fox for a considerable distance. Healthy, fit foxes avoid hounds, they get away, they survive. Unfit, wounded, uh, you know, diseased foxes are caught and killed. So it's very much contributing to the animal welfare at, at, at species level. But now every fox that's flushed has to be shot. So regardless to age or infirmity or health, the, the, the fox is shot. So that's, that to us is, is detrimental. We've had a bit of a rough time with them. It isn't really all about the, 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 the fox and, and the, the hound and everything. There is a bit of, and I still think there is, a bit of um, them and us, a bit of their bunch of snobs running around the countryside. As you can see, most of the people here are from the farming community and the rural community. Within the trade here, so if you're looking at the hunting world in here and, and the money that's here, is you've got the farrier. So you've got the farrier that earns the money doing the blacksmith. Then you've got the saddlers, the saddlers are mending the tack and repairing the tack. Then in amongst all of us lot, you've got people buying and selling horses. So you've got the people, you actually do have people called horse dealers. They will buy in horses, bring them on and move them on. You then have got the grooms, so the girls that go and help do the horses. And then from then you've got the knock-on effect with me and my business, I'm a fencing contractor and I do hedge laying, I, manage the, I help manage the countryside. So it's all interlocked and I don't think the, the animal rights group don't understand how interlocked to the community, the rural community, us as a community is. And the knock-on effect. Hello! <laughs> This is one for the memory books, Absolutely. truly. Nothing like this have we experienced uh, in the United States. Ah!